Hello everyone, welcome back to Kick Ons with Callum Nuxi, uh, brought to you by Ordera. Trusty headphones here. Nuxi, how you been bro? Yeah, look, not too bad. Eh? Um, it's been a good week, uh, you know, just just um, honouring the people's feedback, you know. Um, I went and signed a petition for uh, bringing back Cam and Huey, but... Uh, <laughs> Me too. It, it never happened, so, <laughs> so they're stuck with us they're again, done. but um, it, it's been a good week, uh, you know, we, we've, we, we'll talk about it later, but we've come off a... Uh, a loss again. Um, however, looking forward to that big clash on on Easter Thursday. Anything uh, getting up to anything this weekend for, for Easter with the family? Uh, we're going to go camping. Eh? Um, so we go to um, our uh, my wife's um, family's property out at back of uh, Esk um, near oh, the Somerset yeah. Dam. So go out there and um, have a few uh, red cordials, um, so to speak. Always uh, good. Yeah, always good. And uh, yeah, do some Easter hunt and uh, hopefully the Easter bunny comes to my kids. Nice, brother. I did. Uh, I actually did win the um, Easter egg uh, guessing game today. And um, what, oh, yeah, was, yeah it was one off. Um, 170. It was 171. Um, so and you get them? I get them and I take oh. them home. So uh, my kids will be in a chocolate coma. You're going to be eating more, bro, I reckon. Probably. Go straight to my <laughs> <laughs> Um Just a quick recap, I guess. Um, yeah, like you said before, obviously coming off a... Another uh, loss, unfortunately, over in WA. Uh, what were your thoughts on that? Um, and sort of how have you seen the group sort of lead into this week? Yeah, look, uh, I, I, look I, I, I watched it on TV and uh, look, um, was a good game up until about uh, halfway through that second quarter when they got on top and kicked, uh, I think it was 11 straight. Um, you know, look, it's one of those things where we, we'll learn from that and, and again, we, we continue that same message where, you know, we'll continue to learn and, and, and get better for it. Um, but look, um, the boys uh, uh, this week has been, um, you know, they've had a pretty um, relaxed week and, and an enjoyable week. And so, you know, it's it's one of those things where they've been training hard as well. So just, just to watch from the outside looking in, um, you guys have been, you know, working really, really hard on uh, body contact, so to speak, um, mm. you know, tackling because, you know, I think one of those uh, feedbacks that we got out of that game was, you know, we, we, we dropped too many tackles. So... You know, the, the boys have been working their backside off and, um, you know, hopefully uh, bring that heat against uh, the, the reigning premier, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's the probably the big thing was the contest. Um, yeah, like you said, too many tackles broken, um, probably not enough late as well. Probably just weren't hard enough um, as a group, unfortunately. So, uh, look, yeah, we need to rectify it this week, I guess. And we had a, have had a bit, bit of a break, I guess, with, uh, with the early buy, which is a bit unusual, but... I think that's probably probably something that we needed. Um, you know, we can reset now and um, take our focus to Collingwood, which will um, be a big game. Obviously, both looking for our first win. So yeah, look Cal, on that. Um, we, we've had a um, not not a successful a successful <laughs> not a successful um, uh, game after a bye. And um, look, uh, you know, in in recent history, so I guess. Just, just let us know what what the boys have done differently to get up and, and get ready for uh, you know the the Easter Thursday game. Well, I think um, obviously uh, we had a we had a really big session on on Saturday, um, put through our paces, and uh, there was a lot of lot of focus on that contest stuff and um, repeat efforts and all of that. So I think um, that's really set us up for a really good week. Um, and obviously Collingwood um, best. Grand final, grand finalist premiers. Um, they're known for their contest and their um, chaos ball, and you know that type yeah. of stuff. So for us, um, I think that's going to set us up for a, for a really good week. And um, yeah, like yeah. I said, we're both looking for our yeah. wins. So. And, and and you guys will be studying. Or I, know, I know that you've been. You guys have been studying the um, their form the last three three games as well, because you know they, they've been found out a, a few times in regards to that sort of chaos. Chaos ball, but sides have been able to sort of hold them off. So I know, I know um, the, the coaching staff and, and yourselves would be sort of, you know, trying to work out ways to get around that and, and making sure, you know, we, we are going forward um, at times. Yeah, definitely. We've had a really thorough look at, at them, um, but we've also um, had a really thorough look at us as well. Um, a lot of the things that we're not doing well, um, had a lot of meetings and um, we've been really honest with each other, which is... Um, really important going forward. So, um, yeah, we've got our own little things that we're going to work on this week um, in terms of coming up against Collingwood. But, um, yeah, focus is how we're going to play our footy. So You've been practising your tackling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fans out there. Took took Caleb Strong's head off about three or four times. So, um, yeah, let's not talk about that. But, 
<laughs> yeah, I have been practicing my tackling. <laughs> um, but uh, a positive from the weekend? Yeah, uh, the VFL. Um, you know, they, they round one against the Bombers. Uh, the Bombers jumped them early there with uh, young uh, Jaden Davey who, who took off from the midfield and taking um, – Took off on the midfield and kicked that first goal. Mm. But after that, um, our boys took con- control. Um, and, you know, the standouts we had there were uh, Logan Morris, who had 40, go- ah, 40 goals, four <laughs> goals. Um, and Jimmy Tunsil. Jimmy Tunsil played one of his best games. You know, uh, awesome you know he's, say, yeah. he's, 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 he's probably knocking on the door now for a call up with 31 possessions, two goals, and four clearances. So that, that's a very dominant pos- um, uh, display. Um, Jackson Pry and Shadow Brain were very solid off the half back. They provided yep. that run. Um, and, and potentially again, and, and, and you know, look, Dude, our, our uh, new recruit, Good uh, made a, yeah, made a successful return, and um, you know, he, he could be also recalled back to the side. Yeah, well, I think that's a, a great thing. We've, we've got a really good team with good depth. Um, a lot of boys knocking on the door, and it's awesome to see some young fellas who have just come in, um, really produce some some good games and, and knocking on the door. So I think that's going to sort of drive the senior blokes to. Um, yeah, play some some better football, especially the sort of better football than we played in the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, it's great to see and, and a great win for the VFL. Great start to the season. Yeah, look, and we've got two special guests coming on shortly. But the the new recruits, um, you know, standouts there. Um, we already said one, probably Luke Morris, who's uh, he's been fantastic in um, trial matches. Um, is so many clips come up in the in the forward. Forward meeting, um, in the forward meeting with with him doing some some really good things, not just kicking the goals, but um, crashing packs and things like that. Then we got um, little Lloydy as well, who's um, very, very smart player, Lloydy. Very very yeah. smart player. Um, but similar with him, um, yeah, they're getting on the end of it, but they're they're crashing packs, um, soft drops, all that stuff, working hard. So it's it's good to see. Uh, these things coming out in young players. And, and the young Reese Torrance running around with 36 on him. Yeah. I thought it was a little baby. Matho. Matho <laughs> yeah. running around. Oh, mate, same, I was mate. Like, Whoa, I see 36, I'm like, is that Matho? <laughs> like every time. But yeah, Reese is going good as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's good to have uh, some new new fresh faces at the club. Yeah. And look, uh, I know Dude played uh, half a game. And, and then also, um, I think uh, Jackie Payne played half a game, but he played up forward and kicked a couple of goals as well, uh, which was surprising. Um, yeah. But uh you know, look, um, the VFL boys are off to a great start, putting more pressure on our um, yep. on our uh, senior players as well. Um, look, even uh, with the, the academy guys, the academy is coming through at the moment and they're uh, getting ready for their um, Northern Conference um, against the uh, Suns. And, Where's that um, at? Uh, just up, up and down the East Coast. So they'll play oh, yep. the Suns, they'll play the Giants and the Swans. Um, so those, those young level three boys, um, you know, they've been training since November last year. So... They get to have a crack in and uh, put their name up in lights for uh, the draft in 2024. Awesome. All right, we'll stay with us here on Kick Ons, uh, brought to you by Adira. Uh, we've got uh, two special guests coming on coming on next. Uh, might have already mentioned them, but uh, looking forward to hearing what they have to say. Brother, i got to say, you killed it in our preseason training. Oh, I have been in the zone, really focusing not only on my physical health, but my hearing health as well. Hearing health? Yeah. Everyone's hearing is unique and sounds vary from your left to your right ear. That makes so much sense. We're lucky to have personalised sound here on set thanks to Audira headphones. Using their app, we set up our own individual hearing profiles. Yeah, and the music sounds so much clearer now. Check them out for yourselves. Brisbane Lions members get a huge 20% discount on any pair of Audira headphones. If you are interested in learning more, head to audira.com.au. Welcome back to Kick On, brought to you by Adira with Nuxi and Cow. Look, uh, we've got two special guests here today. Um, one is uh, Logan Morris and the other is Luke Lloyd. Welcome, boys. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, uh, look, um, the, the boys have... Uh, Lo- Logan selected... Uh, let, let, us, let us try and get this right. Uh, Logan selected with uh, from the Western Jets with pick 31. Uh, in the 2023 AFL draft, a hybrid th- forward. I've never heard of a hybrid th- <laughs> forward. Have you heard of a hybrid forward? I have, bro. Him right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lukey, or, <laughs> Lukey Lloyd selected with pick fifth, uh, 42 from the Sandy Hand Dragons in 2023 AFL draft and is another hybrid forward. forward. And this That's probably it. says why they are so flexible uh, when mm. it comes to their role. Um, they can play either small, uh, uh, tall, or even a medium forward. 
Um, you know, watching Logan play on the weekend, uh, you know, just pack, um, smashing packs and then Lloydy uh, on on the ground and, and just, you know, picking the ball up nice and cleanly and, and um, hand passing the ball off. So, look, boys, welcome to um, kick-ons and uh, it's uh, very good to have you. Yeah, no, glad to, be, uh, glad to be on the podcast. Heard plenty about it, so looking forward to it. <laughs> how, uh, I guess, for the fans, how's uh, your journey been from obviously moving from home, getting drafted, uh, fitting into AFL lifestyle, have you found out the Lions, um, living arrangements, who you're living with, um, yeah, pretty much all that. How's it, how's it all been? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, got drafted probably four months now. Um, and, yeah, so as soon as we moved up, uh, we're living with Doc McConnell, so our club doctor. How's that been? Yeah, it's been good. Has been he told you the story about the Essendon when he got pushed over? No, nah, yeah, it's first night. First, <laughs> oh, yeah, first night when we're um, having dinner, yeah, he told us all about it. <laughs> he, he took the yeah. mark. I took the mark. Yeah, hey, I took the mark. Yeah, I got, broken, part, I got a broken jaw from that as well. <laughs> that, that part, yeah. um, no, nah, but it's been good um, living with me and Luke and uh, Reese as well. Yep. So there's three of us there. Um, and, yeah, time at Brisbane's been pretty So pretty do you good. do all the driving to and from training? Me and Reese share it. Yeah. How, how, do you, how do you go, Lordy? You just sit there and just point directions? Yeah, just sit there, passing your princess, just... Um, <laughs> waving? Waving, yeah. <laughs> doesn't do much. No, they, yeah, don't do much. <laughs> how'd, you, uh, how'd you feel, obviously, first uh, round out of the way in the VFL, uh, probably your first look at playing against bigger AFL bodies, um, how, how did that all go? Obviously, Nux, you already said, but both really good games for the club. Um, people don't really know this, but Lloydie, um, he sort of won our trademark mark player in the forwards, um, which is awesome, and Logue's four goals. That's that's crazy. So how did you find it? Yeah, um, really enjoyed it. Uh, good to get the first hit out. Um, all the boys were up and about. Um, yeah, so they kicked away early, and then we brought it back in the third quarter, and had a really good quarter and held it from there. But it was great. Uh, bigger bodies, obviously, but, yeah, it was just a great start to the year for the boys. So, so Lukey. Um, Logues. No, Logues. Sorry, Logues, not Lukey. <laughs> <laughs> Logues, I, um, I, heard, I heard you were that eager to get on that you just ran on the field without even having an interchange. Is this correct? Yeah, look, um, <laughs> yeah, it probably started the third quarter. I was sitting on the bench and called one of the players off and here comes Lloydie come off. I called someone else off and Lloydie comes on. Comes off, sorry, and I'm running on thinking, here we go, back on. And then we've got an extra player on the field. Oh, um, oh, and I have to the uh, do the U-turn and come back to the bench and <laughs> wait another five minutes to get <laughs> back on. on. The, who was on the sideline screaming? Who was it? Was it Pyle? Uh, Krause. Krause? Krause was yelling me <laughs> was back Groovy, off. Groovy having a crack yeah, at you as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got the, so, got so look, we'll, we'll move into the favourites in, uh, in 30, um, 30 seconds. So fans that uh, can get to know you a bit better. Um we're going to ask you your favourite thing. So only 30 seconds. Um, so answer with the first thing that comes to mind. All right. Uh, so. Um, you got the timer? Oh, got the, oh, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. sorry. Oh, oh, the, the producer over here was pointing out to me. And I, um, I'm going to ask Luke first um, yeah. in 30 seconds. So here we go. You ready? Favourite yeah. food? Uh, pasta. Favourite song? Or um, Brisbane Lions theme song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, AFL uh, favorite AFL team growing up. Uh, Essendon. Boo. Uh, favorite movie. Um, the Hangover. Yeah, nice one. Uh, uh, fa- favorite day of the week. Saturday. Saturday because we play footy, correct? Favorite sport outside of AFL. Uh, NFL. The NFL. Thing. Favorite Gatorade flavor. Oh, grape. Grape. Yep. Uh, favorite hobby. Um, oh, that's thirty seconds oh, already. Gee, that went quick. That was quick, mate. Nuxies. I can say golf. Golf. I'll finish off the question. Uh, golf. Yep. Beautiful. Very, very nice. I love my NFLs as well. Who do you go for? I have to get you on the fence. Uh, big Philly Eagles fan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We got a few boys that are doing uh, fantasy that we got like a dynasty going on. So you might have to join. Yeah, very keen. Too. All right. Logs. Here we go. Let's fly through these. You ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Favorite food. Steak. Favorite song. It's that time. Favorite AFL team growing up. Western Bulldogs. Favorite movie. Happy Gilmore. Favourite day of the week? Saturday. Favourite sport outside of AFL? Basketball. Gatorade flavour? Blue Bolt. Favourite hobby? Golf. Favourite season? Summer. Favourite holiday destination? USA. Favourite gym exercise? Bench. Ice cream? Cookies and cream. Nickname someone's given you? Moz. Favourite video game? 2K. Favourite side of the bed? Lift. (laughs) (laughs) Who put that in there? I don't know. (laughs) 
We got through it. Blue. Oh, I think yeah, my, sorry, that was Luke, impressive. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Lucky, that was my fault. I think I took out half the half Nuts a like this. Yeah, yeah favorite really food. Favorite food. Favorite food. <laughs> That's very impressive. Ah, right, well done, well done, Logs. Look, uh, thanks again, guys, for coming on. Um, we're going to stick around for you guys to um, ask us the uh, tab sport spotlight. Um, we'll go to a quick break. Welcome back to Kick Ons. Um, so we've got a bit more fun for you. We've got the Tab Sports Spotlight. So me and Logs are going to give Callan Nuxi five AFL midfielders from 2010 to 2020, and they're going to rate them from one to five blindly. So <laughs> it should be good fun. Do you want to explain <laughs> it to them? Yeah, so we've got five um, AFL midfielders in, on this piece of paper, and we're going to read them in order. And as we say, the first one, they have to blind rate them between one and five, one being the best, five being the worst, but they don't know what's next. So yep. it's a bit of a it's a bit of a fifty fifty. Oh. And uh, I'll start midfielders. 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 I'll start and I'll ask you, Cole. All right. You ready? No. You got this. First one, Joel Selwood. We'll go four. Well, I don't know who's coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit harsh. A bit harsh on him. Really? Yeah. Jackson Trengove. <laughs> Five. Dylan Buckley. <laughs> Bro, who came up with this <laughs> list? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're actually all right footballers. We'll, oh, three. <laughs> Andrew McLeod. One. Josh Dunkley. Two. That's all right. <laughs> Far Dunks. out. Yeah, you went harsh early. Well, normally I'm, yeah. 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 Oh, well. That's right. That's right. Hey. Right. Maxi, you got to beat it. Good players. I've got to beat it. you got to beat it. Just a better. Okay. Better, better picks. <laughs> All right. We'll kick it off with Nat Fife. Go two. I like it. Dan Hanabry. Four. Dane Swan. One. Mitch Robinson. He'll be listening, bro. No one left. <laughs> you won't be able to put him there. So how many people have I done so far? You've done, so you've done, done, you've done five, five uh, at one. Yeah. Dan Hanabry at four. Yep. Oh, no. no. Now five at two. Two. Dan Hanabry at four. Dane Swan at one. One. Mitch Robinson. So you've got three and five. We'll go three. <laughs> Just because oh, he'll be listening. Yeah. <laughs> and Marcus Bontempelli. Oh, five. Oh, oh, five. Oh. Had to go five. Very oh, good, boys. Oh. You did well. Jeez. Bloody hell. Sorry, Joel. Joel, if you're listening. <laughs> Mitch, Mitchy Robinson better give me some credit on that one. Bloody hell. He's got a fight coming up, doesn't he? Yeah, against uh, Kane Pettifer. That'd be interesting to watch. Mm. So, uh, look, look, we'll move on. And, uh, you know, thank you, Lordy and... Um, Moz for uh, that little uh, segment there. Um, so, look, this week we are looking forward to uh, Easter Thursday. And, boys, look, you know, give, give us your thoughts on this as well. Um, moving into the blockbuster um, on, on Thursday, like we've had the blockbuster now for the last probably four, four years. And, you know, we've, we've sort of, I think they were coming out two and one potentially. I, I, I've got to double check that. Um, but, you know, it's potentially a sold out crowd. Um, you know, there's still an opportunity for uh, members to buy their tickets and also people to become members of the footy club to get, um, you know, have tickets to the footy game. So, look, um, give us your thoughts on the game and, and you know, we'll move over to Cal and um, also to give us our thoughts too. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, it's the grand final rematch. So, obviously, it's going to be a pretty big turnout. Um, and, yeah, myself and Lloydie are definitely going to be there watching. Um, and you're not, not giving me a chance to not play? Yeah. <laughs> Well, never know. Never yeah, know, but, never know. Um, yeah, my family's flying up as well, so they're going to be there as well. Um, so it should be a good game, and hopefully, Cal and the boys get it done and start their start the season and get things ramping up. So uh, key matchups. What? What? You, you know, you, you three boys, you're probably all over it. I, I'm sort of you know, just in the grandstand watching and, and, and yelling at the umpire. So, um, but you know, key matchups. What are you looking forward to? Where? Where? I reckon. Where are we going to win the game? Um, and and you know, who are you looking forward to turning it on? Yeah, I think um, it probably starts in the middle for us, maybe, winning the um, stoppages uh, with Dunks and Huey in there. Um, so I think it starts there and then get it down to a dangerous forward line. Thursday night, big lights. 
Bright lights. <laughs> <laughs> big Bright lights. Bright lights. Bright lights. <laughs> it, um, yeah, it should be good. Spot on. I think that's the thing. We, yeah, we just need to start well. Obviously, we've started well over the last couple of weeks, but um, haven't been able to finish it off. But I think that's the thing. It's a battle in the midfield. Um, uh, they got some pretty strong midfielders, so um, looking forward to the to that. Um, hopefully, get some players, um, some good ins. Um, but yeah, start with the contest, and then hopefully we can hold up down back and and get some get some uh, electricity going going forward with Charlie and that, and hopefully he can kick a bag for us, which would be nice. Uh, and training for training today at the Gabba, we, we had the opportunity to go and train on the Gabba um, to get ready for for this Thursday. Um, how was it? You know, a bit wet out there, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what's happened. This rain's come out of nowhere, but how you boys found tri- uh, training on the Gabba? How's it? How's it been? Yeah, it's, it's been pretty serious. Yeah. Um, how many sessions you had on there now? We've Is it had second? Two, two, and both times it's been pouring rain, so <laughs> yeah. we haven't had to go in there when it's, it's dry. Good, but yeah, it's great. It's, uh, it drains well, apparently. Um, yeah, except right? for that western style, that, that Vultus, Vultus Street end there. They uh, sometimes it just clogs up there, but. Um, no, back in the day when I used to play, back in the day, you know, I'm old. <laughs> um, you know, that area there used to be sloshy and, and not the grass wouldn't grow, but um, you know, pretty good now. Yeah, pretty good now. Yeah, so, um, look, um, yeah, look. W- hopefully, we come away with the win there, and um, you know, it's one of those things where both sides are coming off a, a, um, a grand final appearance, but uh, you, know, you know, we're both sitting at zero wins, so. Um, someone zero has got to go, so um, hopefully uh, it's uh, um, Collingwood. So. Yeah. Look, um, hope to see, yeah, a lot of Lions fans there and um, hopefully we can turn it on for them and, um, yeah, don't forget to grab your tickets. I think it's probably nearly a sellout, um, obviously a uh, grand final rematch, so get your tickets if you still can and um, we'll see you guys there. Yeah. And look, uh, just to finish off, we're going to just go around the ground um, in regards to the inner sanctum, so to speak. Um, look, uh, we had a couple of birthdays with our staff and stuff like and players. So uh, Kitty Coleman's birthday's on the 21st of March. He's back at training now. Um, he's well, not back at training. He's not running or anything, but he's um, he's literally... So 21st of March? 23rd. Tw- uh, thir- 31st of March. 31st. So 31st of March. <laughs> <laughs> um, where um, he's come, he's back at training now, and um, you know, yeah. he's, um, good to walking, see yeah, walking yeah, unassisted as as well. So, um, at times, which is good. Um, Scotty Scotty Pie, our uh, Pie Pile 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 <laughs> Scotty Pile Pile. Uh, Pile he's his birthday as well. Um, along with Connor McKenna, uh, Ross um, from the uh, finance, um, Caitlin who works as um, the the uh, HR's assistant, and. Um, also, uh, Ali Anderson. Um, hey. So uh, her birthday was, uh, I think, yesterday. So, um, you know, just going around the grounds there. And then also um, in regards to uh, just the, the community side of things, so the Lion Legacy. So if there's anyone out there that, uh, you know, any corporates that want to be involved um, to the uh, Careers Pathway Breakfast, so if there's any corporates out there that really want to get involved and help our players and our academy um Players as well know that there's other opportunities outside of footy. Um, potentially put your hand up and and and, and come along. Um, also, we have our uh, on the 28th of May we have the Lions Academy Giving Day um, with all the funds going back to the academy to help the next generation um, to come through. So, look, if you want to get involved, please contact Ashley Drake at the Footy Club. Um, I know that's a bit of a plug for the Lions Legacy, but <laughs> um, you know, look, it's it's one of those things where it's actually helped. Um, help me within the community for the Indigenous side of things where we're going to be running an Indigenous Oz kick up in Toowoomba on the 1st of May. Yeah, awesome. So, um, you know, th- that those sort of funds and, and donations go a long way and, and it helps us, I guess, get uh, new um, new talent like these two lads here. And, um, yeah, look, we're looking forward to Thursday. Awesome, brother. Good. So, uh, look, Last one, the yeah. last thing. Uh, so every week, um, not every week, sorry, let's start that again. Every time we're on. <laughs> Every time we're on. <laughs> um, so I'm not too sure if everyone knows, but I love my music. Um, it's my escape from footy, I guess. Uh, love music since I was a little kid. Um, but going to come on here. I love my records, so I'm going to uh, bring a recommendation in um, for an album. Um, every time I come for on. For vinyl or an album? Uh, well, it's yeah, it could just be an album, but I listen to vinyl, so... Um, I'll bring him from home. Got a little bit of a collection going on. So, you boys ever heard of Pink Floyd? Yeah, no. <laughs> I was, talk- yeah, I was talking to this- Logan. Yeah, <laughs> changes. Yeah, I was like, Pink. you heard of Pink Floyd? I'm like, he's like, that. Nah. I'm like, he's like, I've heard of Pink. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> oh, well. 
He'll get there. Yeah, um, so the that. first first recommendation I got, uh, yeah, is Pink Floyd, The Wall. I don't know if you can get that there. Um, this is one of my favourites. Uh, it's a concept album, uh, which means it sort of tells a story, a bit of a theme uh, throughout the, the song. It's actually pretty cool. So if you press play, play from the first song, it sort of uh, flows in the whole way through. So never stops. Um, but love Pink Floyd, um, beautiful story and uh, probably one that um, people can relate to. But, yeah, I don't discriminate with music. Um, I think if, it, if you enjoy listening to it, um, listen to it, or if you, it sort of resonates with you, then um, you can listen to whatever you want. So that's my first recommendation, um, one of the greatest of all time, I reckon. So give it a listen. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming, boys. Nah, thanks appreciate for it. Thanks, yeah. First uh, in-house guest with yeah, me on and the Nuxie, potty, so. on the podcast. So, uh, and we appreciate it because everyone else downstairs have been on. Um, and uh, look, uh, I know the, there's fans out there that want to sort of get to know you more. And thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. Thanks, lads. Thank you. Easy, lads. Thanks for uh, listening to Kick Ons today. Uh, brought to you by Audira. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe to Kick Ons. Yeah, um, we need. And we'll, we'll see you at the Gab on Thursday night. We do need viewers. I know, <laughs> I know everyone wants, I know everyone wants uh, Huey and Cam back, but I think we've done a good job this time around. Yeah, we're getting into it. What do you reckon, boys? Yeah, oh, yeah, doing a great job. Oh, oh. 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 Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>